Good morning, friends. I'm joining you over coffee from White Sands, New Mexico. It's super beautiful here. We've been here for one night now and I'm excited to show you what it's been like here. But in today's video, we're going to be talking about the top six luxuries that we included in our van that we absolutely love. We have now been living in our DIY converted sprinter van for just about three months now. And honestly, we found it quite comfortable so far. We think that has to do with these luxuries that we've included in our build. So we made a list of those things and we want to share it with you. It should be noted that you do not need these six things in order to live a happy van life. But these are the items that Luke and I have come to know and love on this journey so far. In this video, I'm going to tell you what the six items are, how much they cost, and why exactly it is that they are important to us. I'm also gonna mention some alternatives that might work just as well for you. Number one, our toilet. It's a nature's head composting toilet, and this cost us approximately 1,300 Canadian dollars. This one might be pretty self-explanatory as to why we find it useful, but, um, Having a toilet on long drives, it makes the experience way more comfortable. He's a little camera shy. We can travel anywhere knowing that we don't have to squat outside in the middle of the night. There's wind, there's wildlife, and there are neighbors close by, and these are all just reasons why it's better to have a place to go indoors. We specifically like the Nature's Head Toilet because it's very well designed, it's made in the USA, it's a little more pricey than the other composting toilets, but it's completely smell proof and works really really well. It requires no water and 12 volt DC power. I'm sure some of you are wondering what a composting toilet is and how exactly it works. We will go through this in another video. But for now, we'll just leave it at that. To us, it was very worth every penny spent. If it's not within your budget to purchase a nature's head composting toilet, there are plenty of other alternatives out there. We would recommend going to Bob Well's website. He's kind of like the godfather of van life and he outlines many different alternatives on his website. Number two, our Wi-Fi hotspot. The brand is Netgear and it cost us approximately $230 US for the device. It was a refurbished device on Amazon and it cost us about $100 monthly to upkeep. These days it can be really nice to disconnect and I completely understand that feeling. However, we are living in a very connected world. Also a lot of things that we rely on in van life come through on the internet. So things like iOverlander and Google Maps are things that we are using on a daily basis. For those that don't know what iOverlander is, it's an app that can tell you basically everything you need to know for van life. So where to get water, where to get propane, um, dumping stations, and where to sleep could see reviews by people that have been there just recently and uh, check those out before you commit to going to these places. These apps do work offline as well but they also have some really good features online that aren't available offline. We also use the mobile hotspot for work so things like video calls, emailing, and even just doing things like online banking that's all you know available to us through our van which is really handy with this hotspot we purchased the hotspot through amazon as i said before we picked it up at a amazon hub locker if you haven't heard of what this is it's basically just businesses that offer to host lockers within their facilities you can pick up your items in the store in a locker it works really well our plan is through AT&T and it's a unlimited data plan as I said before this costs us about a hundred dollars per month US and again we find it to be really helpful and worth it just based on how much we're using it on a day-to-day -day basis if purchasing this isn't within your budget we would recommend other options like seeking out public Wi-Fi in libraries or at restaurants like McDonald's. 
When using public Wi-Fi, it's important to keep your information protected. You can purchase um, something called a VPN that will encrypt your information while using public Wi-Fi. Number three, our shower. There is not really a brand because it was custom built by Luke. The cost is still um, yet to be determined. We just haven't added up what that specific part of our build cost yet. So we'll have to outline that in another video. Being clean is just one of those things that people in houses take for granted. While being on the road, it can be really hard to find showers sometimes if you don't have one in your van. And I don't know if you're like me, when you need a shower, you really just need a shower right then and there. And having a space in your van to do that is just the most beautiful thing. There's always the debate of space when including a shower or bathroom in a van. Personally, for our build, we think it's really worth it. We do have the extended wheelbase, so that does give us a little bit of extra space. I mean, it would be nice to have that little bit of extra storage, but it's way more worth it for us to have a shower and toilet. We'll outline exactly what parts have been used to build in another video. We kind of briefly go over that in our van tour, so you can check that out here. If you don't have the means or space to build a shower in your camper van, there are plenty of alternatives available, including showers at gyms, showers at aquatic centers, or even just using the sink in your van to scrub down. I will say that there is a massive benefit to having a hot shower in your van just because sometimes these public showers might be coin operated at campsites and you don't have change on you or sometimes these showers might claim to be hot and yet they only are a little bit warm. So having a hot shower in your own space is just a really special luxury and we know we are very lucky to have that. Number four, our fridge and freezer combination. Our fridge and freezer is an ice co dual zone and this costs us about $1,700 Canadian all up. Again, it's a pricey thing, but we're talking about luxuries here. But we personally feel that this fridge is a really great addition to our van because we use it constantly and it takes little to no power. There were plenty of times when we were car camping that we didn't even have any type of fridge or freezer combination and we were just fine. But it is definitely a luxury to have a fridge and a freezer. The ability to keep fresh fruits and veggies and also to freeze things like ice and frozen fruits and ice cream. Again, there are plenty of alternatives available out there, just smaller versions of fridges or freezers or fridges without freezers. Nelson, what do you think of our fridge freezer combo? There are plenty of alternatives out there in terms of fridges. You can get fridges without freezers. You can get smaller versions of fridge freezer combinations, or you can just go without a fridge freezer and do things like canned fruits and veggies for longer trips, or just hit up grocery stores every couple days. Number five, our vacuum. Our vacuum is a Dyson and it costs approximately $500 Canadian. This is something we didn't purchase specifically for van life, but Luke actually bought it for me as a birthday present one year. It is the most amazing thing when you have a dog that sheds a lot to be able to just quickly clean up. And anyone that lives in a van knows that it gets dirty really fast. You're constantly going in and out of the space, bringing in sand or dust. And with Nelson shedding as well, it's just really nice to have a vacuum that's quick and easy to pull out and clean up your space efficiently. Again, it's a luxury and there are plenty of other alternatives available. You can always just go with the good old broom and dustpan. You can get 
all kinds of different brands of cordless vacuums, but I personally think that the Dyson works really well compared to some of those because we have tried them in the past. With the Dyson, you get a bunch of different attachments as well. So you can clean your seats and you can clean your floor with these different attachments. And so it works really good for that. Okay, the last one, number six, our propane furnace. The brand is Propex. This cost us approximately $1,230 Canadian. We debated back and forth whether or not we would need a furnace. It was kind of one of the last decisions we made about the van build and honestly we are so glad that we went ahead with the propane furnace. Being from Canada, I'm sure there will be plenty of nights in the later fall or spring where we fire this up. And even being in the desert, there's been plenty of nights where we have had to use the furnace. Not had to, but it's just been really nice to fire it up and be toasty warm. Last night we were at the sand dunes and we were shoeless um, on purpose. <laughs> but it got really cold and being able to come back to the van and turn the furnace on and warm our feet up was just the most amazing thing. It is pretty efficient, but when it dips to like minus 12 overnight, like it was in the Grand Canyon for us, you can go through like half of a 20 pound propane tank in one night. It's not so much the cost, but just getting the propane tank out to fill it can be kind of a task in our van, but it only cost us $5, I think, last time to fill it up. If you want to go propaneless in your van, there are other options available. You can get a diesel heater and there are plenty of brands available for that. Also just having things like slippers and big sweaters on hand and driving to warmer climates, you can always do that too. Another thing is thermal curtains in your van. So one of the biggest areas of heat loss in a van is the windows. And so just having things like thermal curtains or reflectix on your windows will help keep the heat in. Okay, final thoughts. I hope that this video was enjoyable to you. We know personally that the cost can really add up fast when building a van so you have to choose what is right for you and sometimes that means just starting off and having no luxuries and adding them as you go thank you so much for tuning in to yet another video we really appreciate it whatever adventures you all may be planning we wish you happy trails thank you and we'll see you next week Bye.